Are you looking for the best free image editing software? No problem. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to install GIMP 2.10 onto your Windows computer. You can also follow these instructions to install GIMP on Apple Mac and Linux computers. GIMP is a free image editing software application which is similar to Adobe Photoshop. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm gonna click on Google Chrome here and I'm gonna type in GIMP. So I'm gonna type in G-I-M-P and this will take us to this website here, GIMP.org. I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and click here. And the first thing we want to do is, you know, you can go ahead and read a little bit about it. GIMP software is free, it's open source, so you can use it on your computer for free. And it's all about image manipulation. So to download and install it, we're gonna click the orange download button here. Okay, so on this screen, we have an option to select different operating systems. We've got Linux here, we've got Mac OS, and we've got Microsoft Windows. I'm using Windows, so as default, this browser has detected that I'm using Windows and it's giving me the window installation. You can download it using BitTorrent, you can download it from the Microsoft Store, or you can download it directly. I'm gonna click this orange button to download it directly. So the software is not small, it's around 253 megabytes, so it's not massive, but it will take a few seconds to download this file to my computer. So we'll just wait for that. And you, know, you can go ahead and make a donation. I suggest that you do that if you get a chance, if you've got a little bit of spare cash, um, please try and donate to the GIMP uh, software developers so they can continue to make this software better. So the software is downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here to start the software installation. We can go ahead and minimize this. And you can see that Norton's has scanned it, it says it's safe to install. And you've got an option here on Windows whether you want to install it for everyone or whether you want to install it for yourself only. So I'm just going to install for all users recommended. So I'm going to click this. And then on this next screen, I'll get an option to select the language. I'm just going to leave it as English British and click OK and then we can go ahead and click this button and it will start installing the software. You need to be a bit patient. It probably takes about two to three minutes to install this software. So we'll just leave it installing and then we can launch the application, give it a little quick test just to make sure everything is working correctly. Okay, so the GIMP software is finished installing. So we can go ahead and click this finish button and we can go over to our little taskbar here and we can go to the search and we can type in GIMP and then we can click on apps here and we can see the application here. We can just right click it and then pin it to our taskbar so we can always access it from here. And when you first boot up this software, it takes a little bit of time. So we'll go ahead and click on the icon and that will launch the software. It's gonna take a little bit of time to boot up. You have to be a little bit patient when it first boots the software. So you can see it's starting to boot up now. And we'll have a little play around with this quickly. We just test to make sure that the software is actually working. There's no sort of issues with it. So it's booted up now. Before continuing this tutorial, it will be awesome if you can hit that like button. You can also support my channel by simply subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Many thanks. On my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I have this single image. So let's try and drag that into GIMP. So we'll just grab this image, drag it into here. And we'll just say keep here. And you can see the images in GIMP and it's all loaded up correctly. There's no sort of issues here. It's a nice high resolution image. Here you can see it on the layer stack here. And let's just see if we can um, just do a little manipulation on it. So we'll go ahead and click on the layer here. Let's just go to the filters. Let's just see if we can add, um, let's just add a lens flare, right? So we'll click lens flare. And you can see it's drawn this lens flare. It's actually positioned it right on, on her nose. Uh, so we'll click this little arrow icon here and that allows us to reposition it. So let's position it somewhere like down here. You can see the lens flare there, right? Maybe you can see it a bit more clear over here. So it's redrawing and it's tracing over the image and it's placing the lens flare wherever I happen to uh, want to place it. So you normally get a little sort of lens flare when you're taking videos or photographs um, off the camera lens, right? So we'll go ahead and click OK. So we can see the software is working fine. We've got all of our tools up here. If you're interested in um, learning more about GIMP software, then I'll put a link in the YouTube description to my video playlist. So you can access lots of different um, tutorials on GIMP. In fact, I'll quickly show you that. So if we go ahead to my YouTube channel, click on playlist here, and then you can see lots of different software applications here, right? All the different software that I've covered. There's loads in here. I've been doing it for quite some time. But uh, let's try and find the GIMP 
the GIMP software in here, we should be able to find the, in fact, it might be quicker for me to just search for it. It's all the way down here. If I click view full playlist, so you can do the same. You can see all the different tutorials that I've made for GIMP, right? Lots and lots of knowledge here for you to go and learn more about GIMP. So there's probably around 80 plus tutorials here just showing you different aspects of the GIMP software, how to manipulate images, how to cut around images, how to change backgrounds, how to use layers. There's lots of useful information in here that you can um, follow different tutorials explaining how to use this software from different uh, perspective. So let's go ahead and minimize this. We can go ahead and close down GIMP. We've got it installed, it's all working. That's great. Okay, so that's the end of this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where you can find over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of software applications. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.